And I'm back with a test run. I kind of had this idea for the bottle bottom middles and I wanted to try it. So this is the test one. You may or may not see this video, but um, here we go. So I thought about doing a ring pour underneath the bottle bottom before I do the bottle bottom. Uh, you know, the whites and my middles always get kind of funky made chandelier last time <laughs> so I thought I would try something different so um, I'm uh, recording during the day which is really weird for me but uh, I'm going to and it's a slightly different angle so um, hopefully uh, if you leave a comment if you like this angle better than the other one I think I get a little bit more light but it also might just be because I'm taping during the day um, so I'm not using the WD-40 silicone. I just decided to try the uh, coconut milk. Just a little bit rubbed in this and the bottle bottom. Just to hopefully uh, get the paint in there. So a little bit of white. Uh, this is... Uh, oops. <laughs> I'm starting off with my oops already. Uh, Artist Loft Deep Magenta. But like I said, this is the practice one, so... I mean, I don't see this. Deco Art Glorious Gold Metallic. And I think I'll just do a little bit more of that white. Magenta and gold. Oh, I was supposed to layer those in. Let me give that a little quick little swirl. Still on a, the high of the Maker Fair, but I'll talk more about that one in my the real video. All right, we're gonna cover that anyway. So let me just start with a ring pour real quick. Now I'm going to pour the other color over this and I think I'm okay with these colors mixing because I'm using blues and turquoises today. And I'm off center but I'm going to slightly stretch this out before I put the bottle bottom on it. That should be plenty. Let me see if I can stretch it out this way a little bit more. I just want to stretch it out enough so that the bottom bottom will fit over it and it will. Um, I think I'm going to go straight with color. Uh, Grumbacher's Prussian Blue. It's a little thick. This is Deco Art. Mm. It's not enough for my base. I didn't do a base coat. Well, let me just try to use more paint. Deco Art Americana Ocean Blue. Just a little bit of black. Artist Love Turquoise. Oh, 
your crafts might seem as pro. All right, well, I didn't do it. Well, we'll just see. We'll just keep going. <laughs> oh, I did want a little bit of white to break that up. Impression blue. Hopefully the paint will just keep pushing out. I know I'm, it's like, you see that my canvas is staying too dry and it's going to overlap. I guess I'll just do the white. Um, let's see if this white works. I didn't want to do the base because I feel like the base, for me, and probably might be just my paint consistency, doesn't, um, you know, I'm hitting my bottle bottom. Excuse my arm doesn't help with keeping my center together. So, but I'm sure it's me. <laughs> Not the base coat. Oh, did it again. Yeah, this video may not be going up there. Although I like to show, because I'm a newbie, how things come up and how you can fix them. All right, we'll just keep going. I want him on the ocean blue, which I'm gonna have to get some more of. A little bit of black. I thought about just doing the bottom underneath the same colors too, but I kind of wanted to see what the contrasting colors would look like. Off centered, so I'm going to probably go more heavy on this end. lightly on the top one and then I'll probably then just go over the edge on this one just pulling the paint so it has it knows where to go flow flow okay white pressure blue ocean blue in a jar actually which means I probably should have it in a squeeze bottle somewhere but better to use it the jar of paint first heavy on this end. I don't even do what I say I'm going to do. This way. 
Okay, one more. It's just my test, like I said. close seeing this part okay. definitely gonna pour that off because the globs are white Again, I know that's me. I know it's me putting too much, using too much white. Tell this paint, move this way, move this way. Feel free to spread your wings, your petals. Okay. I like to do a practice one. Usually it's an even smaller canvas. But what the heck? I've been not really painting so much because I had to get ready for that event and this busy end of your mailing at work. So yeah. if I do two canvases, I do two canvases. Grab my torch. suggested she puts a little wooden dowel in the middle hmm. of her bottle bottoms so that she can easily pick it up. Okay, I'm going to pull you in. These look like little teeth. <laughs> Let's see, maybe I go out this time.
use this anymore. Let me just start because I know that one's already going over. Slowly tilt. <clears throat> Come on. This is the direction you want to go. I promise you. So I'm wishing I had done the base. <laughs> but let's see. Let me get this paint moving. Maybe we can get it okay. No, it's looking already. It's folding over itself. What the heck? What the who the? But I'm glad this is abstract art because this is definitely going to be abstract. Some of those paint consistencies weren't right either. I know that. I like the colors though. Should have gone. Okay, let's do this one. Some more paint. So do a base, people. Do a base for your bottle bottoms. Guess I'll try doing the base with uh, around my center ring pour that I won't try. Go back, go back, hey, go back. I'm looking like I've never painted before. <laughs> Poor people. Hmm, let me just add. just add it.
Not what I was expecting. And this ocean blue is another one of those strong pink characters. I have to work to get that consistency down a bit. I don't know if because he was sitting in a jar. sides are going to look yucko. Right. The blue helped me up there, so I'm going to try to stretch some of this paint back. To this end. Seamus Pearl and the black gave me these gray areas, which is not completely yucky. Definitely had too much paint for the ring pour in the middle. But, like I said, abstract art. <laughs> Whether it's good abstract art, I don't know. I haven't even torched it yet, but I'm going to try and get these edges. But I will be doing another one. Okay. Well, I do like the idea of the ring pour, but I think I just had a little bit too much paint in that. Uh, I could use less paint, I think, and stretch it out, but definitely with the base, but maybe with the added ring pour of not base paint in the middle, because it did seem to hold together a little bit, and I do like how the pink did seep out in between uh, the petals underneath the petals of the bottle bottom, so. Eh. Pouring paint never fails me, it always feels good. And the Seamus Pearl gave me some real interesting gray, which I'll show you up close in just one second. I do the uh, thing, grabbing the paint from underneath so that uh, I'm gonna sneeze. I don't want to sneeze because I sneeze really loud. To keep your paint from being pulled down from the canvas. Okay. A new angle, so let me just see how I can grab this for you. You can see how the Seamus Pearl made that light gray. With the black. It's actually kind of pretty. I 
it's okay. The ocean blue is solid. I might even go back in and, uh, oops, whoops, there's my whoops to try and see if I can break up the solidness of that color. But I do like the rings for the center. It's a nice added little detail. But this is my practice run. Maybe I'll still post it, but I'll do another one. I'll be doing another one, so keep watching. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button. If you hit the bell next to the subscribe button, it'll notify you when I upload another video. A quick like and share. Leave a comment. I love to hear people's comments and suggestions. Or I just love feedback. I love it's my other form of talking to you all. I love to talk. I'm a chat, chat, chatterbox normally. But um, thank you so much for watching. And um, I'll see you on my next video. Thanks. Bye.